Hey everyone, welcome to our reading core today, June 16th, 2020. Um, today we're going to read the book Welcome Back, Butterflies. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over some of the sight words. Our first word is away. Away. Now you try it. Our next word is eggs. Eggs. Now you try it. Our next word is yard. Yard. Now you try it. Our next word is sprout. Sprout. Now you try it. All right, I think we are all ready to go ahead and begin. All right, so again, our the title of the book that we're going to read today is called Welcome Back Butterflies. So just by looking at this book and the book that we read yesterday, what is the main difference? Yeah, that's right. This one is of a drawing and the other one from yesterday, um, How Plants Grow, is uh, was a picture. So that should probably give us a clue as to what this, um, if it's going to be fiction or nonfiction. Okay, so here we see. We see a little girl with some butterflies. We see the same little girl with butterflies. Okay. We see the same little girl with butterflies. But there's different things um, here as well. Mm -hmm. Then we see little leaves with little dots on them. If you happen to know what they are, go ahead and let me know. have the same little girl so it looks like we have a main character or one one character that we're going to follow throughout uh this this book plants and now lee i mean butterfly so it's two things that we're going to probably talk about all right so here uh we see that we're going to make some predictions um my prediction is going to be that we are going to see the little girl and she's going to talk about, tell us a little bit about the butterflies and possibly how the plants have to do with, with the butterflies. And uh, just looking at the text, do you think it's fiction or nonfiction? Um, I would say that it's not, that it's fiction. It's fiction. And, uh, but it has some, some truth to it. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and begin. Welcome back, butterflies. I love butterflies. I love the orange and black ones. In the fall, they fly south. They fly away from me. Okay, and here we have a map of the earth. And if you look very, very closely, you kind of see the lines here. They go south, so she's probably, she probably lives up here. And the butterflies go south in the fall. In the spring, they fly north. They fly back to me. Oh, I'm sorry. In the spring, they fly north. They fly back to me. They fly back to lay their eggs. They need the right plants for their eggs. I plant seeds in my yard. I water the seeds. I watch the seeds sprout. I watch the plants grow. My yard has the right plants now. Welcome back, butterflies. All right, and here we see the title of our story. Welcome back, butterflies. All right, now it is your turn to go ahead and read this. So let's go ahead and start from the very beginning. Ready?
All right, very good. Now, before we go to the other questions, I wanted to go ahead and go over some of our sight words that we had today. So, um, one of the words, uh, I don't believe it was a word. No, it was, it was sprout. So here, what, uh, here we see, I watched the seeds sprout. So she planted seeds here. And why, what, what do you think sprout means? Well, sprout means to that the seeds are starting to grow their roots, which is underneath the earth, and their leaves as well. And then after they have all their, their leaves and things like that, then they start to become plants. So before that, they're seedlings, so they're kind of in that in-between stage. So why is she planting... Um, uh, I think that's one of our questions. So uh, that's that that's one question I have. Why did she decide to plant some seeds and have these plants grow? That's right. She wanted the plants to uh, she, the the butterflies needed a special kind of plant, and now the butterflies can come back to her garden, to her backyard, since this looks like her backyard, and they can. That's why she's welcoming welcoming them back because she's planted something so that it could be their home in the meantime. And as we saw, um, where do uh, butterflies go in the in the fall? So we look back at this page. Yep, and you you can see very closely the arrows are pointing down, so that means that they are going south. And where do they go in the spring? As we can see here, the arrows are pointing up this time. So in the spring, they fly north. They fly back to me. So she's friends. She's kind of friends with these butterflies. She, um, they. It looks. It looks like they travel a really long distance. Even though they are small, look very small. They can travel very, very far. Um, and here, um, I think this is one of the times that we'll talk about it but we can read uh, the life cycle of a butterfly later on in the summer what is this what are these that's right these are butterfly eggs this is where the life cycle of the butterfly starts um, and I can go ahead and link a video of the life cycle of insects and the insects uh, they all have different life cycles but I can go ahead and so that you can see what it looks like um, so how many characters are in this story? How many characters? Just one, just the girl. And where does the story take place? We see some clues, one back here. That's right, it takes place in her backyard or near where she is. And who or what does the child love? The little girl love? What does she love? That's right, she loves the butterflies. So that's why she uh, planted all of these seeds and she waits for them back in the, in the spring. And our last question for today is going to be the following. When do butterflies lay their eggs? When do butterflies lay their eggs? So here we could see um, some, go back to the text and read it. In the spring, they fly north. They fly back to me. They fly back to lay their eggs. So that means that we're still talking about the spring. So in the spring, they go back north. They lay their eggs, and they need the right plants for their eggs, which is uh, what we talked about, why she decided to plant uh, seeds in the back of her garden. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story. I will go ahead and link the video about the insect life cycle so that you can also follow along with that. Hope you are enjoying our science readings, and I will see you next time.